Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chan. Let's get into some hot topics. Let's go. So Kelly Rowland's new movie, Mia Culpa, will be coming out on Netflix on February 23rd. Um, it's written, directed, produced, and everything by Tyler Perry. And from the previews, it looks like it's going to be fantastic. Kelly looks amazing at her premiere, right? I'm really happy for her. Beyonce, Jay-Z, Miss um, Tina came out. Beyonce was like, this is my friend, my friend, my friend. So she's really happy for Kelly as well. But let's look at a photo we haven't seen in a very long time. We haven't seen these three together since the last elevator situation. And here they are right here, either coming in or going out of one. I hope everything is okay. <laughs> let's keep going. So Taylor Swift has donated $100,000 to the families of the woman, the disc jockey, who was unalived at the Chiefs celebration this earlier this week, right? Um, Travis Kelsey has come, to, come under fire for his behaviors during or after this. Um, he was posing for pictures with policemen and various people throwing up the peace sign. And the people feel like he's not being very compassionate. Where do you stand with that? Let's keep going. Mia Thornton right and her boo incognito on valentine's day love mia more she has all the feels down here in this caption where is gordon child <laughs> go mia baby i had no idea diamond was going with the boxer mma fighter whatever he is doing in this little ring right here but she is engaged I hope he won. And then after his win, he gets down on one knee. And I and I feel like she was the announcer because she had a microphone in her hand. But congratulations to her and him. I'm very happy for Diamond because with that scrappy situation, it seems like they were just going back and forth. And she just doesn't look so happy all the time. So congratulations, Diamond. Now, I think this is real backwards. I kind of don't understand it. But Phaedra's ex, Apollo Nida, will appear at Married to Medicine Season 10 reunion. Is this an exclusive from People Magazine? I, Why would Apollo come on the reunion and he hasn't been on the show all season? So it's saying here that the cast from Married to Medicine were all kept in the dark about Nida's appearance and were shocked when he showed up at the taping in January in New York City. Like, why would Apollo come to the reunion taping? So, y'all, we won't be able to see what really happened until March the 3rd. That's when the, uh, I'm sure it's going to be a three-part reunion. I don't know why it would be, but you know how they do. Um, and the season finale is going to be on February 25th. So, that's coming up. And the question had come up when Apollo didn't come to his baby's birthday, right? But also, you heard the dentist tell Carlos that when asked about it, Phaedra said, no, we're not talking about that. So clearly they're going to talk about it. So this will be the first time that we see Apollo and Phaedra on screen together since season seven of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, right? And while they left there on bad terms, it is stating here that they're not on bad terms now and Apollo is actually showing up in support of Phaedra, right? And to talk about their post-divorce, how they co-parent, and they also talk about their son, Dylan, that's 10. But why would he show up to a reunion? Is this going to be the three-part so they can have a conversation like Quad and Dr. Gregory did? Because why else would he come? And when are they going to bring him in? That's going to make this reunion three parts. I'm not here for this. They can do this in one. Child, speaking of the Real Housewives of Atlanta, baby, I got this from the Housewives of ATL page on Instagram, and I really and truly hope that this is a true statement fired, right? Because Sanya does not need to come back, and this one right here, I can't even remember her name, and she definitely doesn't need to come back. Courtney, she does not need to come back, because she's so disrespectful, but she is so boring. And congratulations on the baby, Sanya. You just need to stay home and take care of the baby let's keep going now y'all know how obsessed i am with this new michael jackson movie and nephew jafar y'all look at jafar being michael jackson he is dressed up as the king of pop what 
yes, he is the spitting image of his uncle. He was in full hair, makeup, costume on Thursday on location in Encino, California, where cameras were rolling for the movie Michael, right? It's the first time Michael going to be on the big screen. I'm so ready for this. But I told y'all, they started filming for this in January, and we get this next year in April. Y'all, look. This is Michael and his mama, Catherine, which is Jafar and Nia Long. Like, I am so excited about this. She's gonna body this. And here's Nia and, I mean, here's Catherine and Joe, honey. Coleman and Nia. I love it. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I was gonna do a whole video about this, but I'm over Monique and all this, so... This is what we're gonna get. So I didn't realize that Shalon had made yet another video before this one, right? And in here, he is referencing the text messages that Mo has sent him like three or four years ago. That is crazy. So in that particular video, he talked about how uh, Monique nor Sydney should be talking about anybody's mental illness. Um, he did talk about how if he was in such a bad way, why didn't she care so much for the grandbaby? Um, he had a lot of things that he talked about. He had written down, and I like the way he does that. So his, his thoughts are clear. He doesn't miss anything, and he covers everything he wants to say. And this is just a text message from Monique. Instead of her picking up the phone, she just sends text. So this one is from Sydney. I'm not reading all this, right? But I will say this. This is where Monique and Sydney lose. They lose because they want to have the last word. And in trying to get the last word, they look real crazy. And this right here is so stupid. I just can't even get into it. Let's keep going. So do y'all think that Tisha and Marceau had Carlos to call in a favor? And this is the favor? Look how she's leaned over in her chair. This is not very professional. I don't think the dentist can do anything but dentist. Because her talking about business is not something that I would listen to what do y'all think about this and if anybody's in the area y'all y'all let me know what's going on it's your girl Millie Chun I'll talk to y'all later bye <laughs>